Ok everyone. Défend de Jedi Order. Hey everyone, I'm Laurentio and in this video I'm going to talk about all Star Wars games I found for Java. Star Wars Battle Above Coruscant is an alien shooter made by THQ. The game is the usual alien shooter, meaning that you move around and shoot enemies, you get power-ups like double laser beams or a temporary shield for your ship. The controls are a little finicky, but you get used to them fairly easy, even if they somehow still remain a little finicky. I mean, they still feel finicky even after you get used to them. Visually, the game has some good looking effects, but some more visual diversity would have been nice. You get only two levels in the game, I mean two different settings. One where you get an animated background and another level where you get a really long picture. Oh, and you get space. So yeah, you can see that there are three settings. Though space is the background of the really long picture in the second setting. Overall the game is good, it's short, even for a java game taking you around 20 minutes, but overall it's good. Star Wars The Force Unleashed Mobile is disappointing, especially if you've played any other version of the game. Here instead of having a similar approach like the other versions and make it a stereotypical platformer and brawler, the game is unique, but this time it's not good that it's unique. In the game you stand in the middle of the screen and have to draw force patterns in the circle in the middle of the screen. That's it. And you do this in multiple locations. You get some extra text based story elements in between which tell a different story than the version you are used to. But with such a lousy gameplay you have no ambition to advance in the game. At least this was the case for me. Now people are different. On the gameplay part, it's nice that you get multiple types of force moves, but still compared to the other versions of the game, this one isn't awesome. But on the upside, it has good visuals and a nice number of different moves. So if you want an arcade game like this, try it. Lego Star Wars 1 and 2 look cute, but they get boring pretty fast. I don't know how to describe it. The games aren't broken, it's just that they get dull. In the first one you can destroy stuff and collect studs, you can hit enemies with your lightsaber and use the force to push objects around, but all of this gets boring, even if, on paper, everything sounds good and cool. But that doesn't mean that you can try the game, I'm not an authority in saying what game is good and what is not, it's up to you if you like a game or not. It's just that even if Anakin is a one-man army that slices a whole bunch of enemies, the game got dull after a while. And the mechanics in the second one are like in a usual LEGO game. You switch characters, use blasters, switch characters to unlock doors, build stuff, collect studs, but somehow even if it's the same game formula translated on Java, here the formula isn't as fun. I suggest you give it a try though and see for yourself. And if you do, please comment below what you think about the games. Maybe it's just me who found the game style. Star Wars Imperial Ace is 3D which is always impressive to see on Java. But unfortunately, the looks are the only selling point of the game. The gameplay is sloppy, controls feel slippery and effects look odd. But the gameplay is still very playable. And if you wanted to show off to your friends that you have a capable phone back in the day, this will be one of the games to do it. And the game is pretty decent in gameplay. Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back is an adventure game, and a pretty good one. The main gameplay parts are ship sections and levels where you have to jump obstacles, or avoid obstacles, or defeat enemies. The combat feels many times more like an interactive cutscene than actually doing something. But I didn't feel that that was hindering me from having fun, it's just something that I wanted to point out. I mean even in the lightsaber duel, you just have to press the button when you are in the green. But overall, the game is good, it feels like an adventure, 
and is varied both gameplay wise and visually. Star Wars Revenge of the Sith would have been ok if the game was longer. It takes you around 15 minutes to finish the game and there's a guy on YouTube that finished it in around 8 minutes. The game is really short and the game also has some flaws but overall it's still ok, I mean at least I consider it ok. It's nice that you play as 4 characters, Anakin, Obi-Wan, Mace Windu and Yoda and with all of them you do the same thing, maul through the same enemies until you get to the end of a level. Also you don't get multiple moves, combos or exciting stuff, you just swing your sword and jump. Even in a state like this, I will still call the game ok if it would have been longer, 15 minutes or 8 minutes of gameplay, it's just not enough. I consider that with a vehicle level or any other kind of level to spice up the gameplay, the game would have been eventually good. Ok, the game is pretty tough too, I mean the first time you play at least, as you don't know how to fight certain enemies or certain bosses and the trial and error might add more to the game, taking you around 30 or 40 minutes maybe, depending on skill and how fast someone guesses what to do. Jedi Mind Tricks is a puzzle game. The video is self-explanatory, so just know that the game exists and we move on to the next game. Star Wars Cantina is a game I could never run on any of my Java phones, nor on an emulator, so I can't review the game. I've still put it on the list so that you know it exists and judging by its looks, it looks like a dinner dash imitation, the game where you have to ask clients what they want and then bring the corresponding food to the corresponding table and if it runs as good as dinner dash then I guess it will be a good game, but since I never got to play it, this is just a judgement solely based on looks and the experience I had with another game. Star Wars Clone Wars is another game I couldn't run, luckily there is a gameplay on YouTube and with the game's description I can tell you what the game is about, so in the game you play as a squad of clone troopers and have to blast enemies in your way. In the game there are also appearances of Anakin, Obi-Wan, Count Dooku and General Grievous. Oh and the game is made after the cartoon Star Wars The Clone Wars, not, not after the movie. Angry Birds 1 and 2 is Angry Birds on Java but Star Wars themed. The game is choppy and clunky compared to the smooth and detail rich experience you get on Android or on iOS, but when you don't have an Android phone, this game provides a mediocre to decent Angry Birds experience, which back in the day was something, not everyone had money for an Android phone back then. Ok so this was the video, if you liked it please hit the like button and subscribe, if you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section, you will help me a lot. If you want you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord and if you want to see another video of mine just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.